Hey pals, it's that Jess here and today I have kind of a spontaneous video for you but it's not the kind of spontaneous video where we're like hey, we're gonna go shave our hair and get a tattoo and change your whole wardrobe. No, it's more uh, I was planning a video and then I was like oh, I can make another video with this stuff I'm planning. So I'm going to do that right now. Kind of spontaneous video. Also, it's kind of a bad fringe day. <laughs> like, look at these pieces. What are they doing? I won't object too much again, it can't in like an hour, but it's fine, we'll, we'll write it out. So today I thought I would do a face mask collection video, yes. I love face masks, they are so fun to do, they're easy skincare, and I just like them, they, they're relaxing, they're soothing, and they make your skin feel good. So for that reason I've recently, in the last like few months, had a little I made a little collection of face masks, they all kind of vary in what they do and what kind of face masks they are, which you'll see what I mean in a minute, but I just thought I would show you because I also find these kind of face mask videos quite relaxing to watch and I hope you do as well. There's no real order as to how I'm showing you these face masks because um, I don't think I can recategorise them because they kind of all just merge into like one category, kind of, um, but I thought I'd start with one of them that I use quite a lot. And it is this sheet mask from Garnier. It's one of the skin active ones. I haven't actually used this specific one um, before. I've used like the pink one, which is like a moisture bomb one, I think they call it. Don't quote me on that. But these Garnier face masks are so good. They're brilliant. Um, you can pick them up in Boots and Supercharged. They're normally about £4. But if you go to Home Bargains or Savers or something like that, they're normally about £2. These are very simple to use. You just take the sheet mask out of the packet Follow the instructions on the back and normally leave it for about 10-15 minutes and my goodness does your skin feel good after. It's so smooth and soft and it's just, ah, it feels so happy and it makes me happy. They're very easy to do because you don't have to like scrub anything, they're not harsh on the face. You literally just pop it on, go on your phone for about 10-15 minutes and then take it off, rub the excess in and you're good to go. I love these and I would recommend them because they come in quite a few different types as well. I think they just released like a charcoal one. So yeah. So my next face mask as well is a sheet mask and it's this one from Primark and it's part of their K-pop range which I think is still floating around in the form of skincare. But all their makeup stuff and fragrances have gone which is really sad because the K-pop beauty range was my favourite one from Primark. But this is the Shine Bright Purifying Charcoal Bubble Sheet Mask. I've never done a bubble mask before so I'm waiting to use this for like the perfect moment. Funniest thing to watch. So I'm looking forward to this one. But this one says that it helps with purifying and brightening which is really good because especially in the winter in like the colder months my skin looks so dead. So um, a purifying and brightening one is what I need. These are just simple, you just run the pouch of it, take it out, pop it on your face and you let it do its thing. So these sheet masks are very like, you leave them on and they do all the work for you. So if you're kind of looking for a lazier face mask where you can just pop it on and not have to worry about following the right steps or anything, the sheet masks are probably best for you. You can get them anywhere like even Primark started doing them now. Um, so this one was 150, which I don't think is horrific for face masks because you're in summer like 10 quid. Who has 10 quid to spend on a face mask? I do not. I'm looking forward to trying this one and there'll probably be pictures on like my Instagram when I do it. Now this next one isn't actually a face mask but shh, it's fine. This is still part of the K-pop range um, from Primark and it is these blemish blasters which are basically little gel patches for your spots and they are fab. I picked these up on a whim because I was like I need some more of the K-pop range and they literally had these or some lip ones and I went for these and um, they're so good they're just little clear patches that you pop on your spots leave them overnight and it really either reduces the redness and swelling of a spot or it brings it out so that it can go within a couple of days they are fab, they were 150 again and you get 20 in there. I don't know if these are still available because Primark likes to bring out stuff and then get rid of it as soon as possible. But these are very good. I thought I'd just pop them in here because they're part of the K-pop range. And who doesn't like to see some extra bits and pieces? So next one was a bargain I got in the Boxing Day sales, like in January though. And it is this little face mask set from Superdrug and it's part of the Jinju Beauty like collection company brand products things yeah and this is a multi-masking kit 
two pod masks so you got two face masks in there and you've also got this brush which is what drew me to it is because with face masks if you've got the ones that are more like cream and you have to apply it to your face I don't want to get like bacteria and dirt from my hands onto my skin so this face mask brush here is what I really wanted um, and I think it cost me like £4 for two face masks and then the brush so we went and got that bargain this is literally as far out of the box as I can get it so we're going to work with it but you've got your face mask brush there which is like a silicone brush so it doesn't get like stuck in all the bristles which is very smart and very very impressed that they came up with that because I wasn't um, you then got one of the face masks here which is a green tea face mask that is for antioxidant nailed it and then this other one down here which you can't see is a coffee face mask for energizing so i thought that was really fab and it is um a korean skincare brand um i think you all know that korea has like the best skincare ever so um they've become quite popular over here so i wanted to get my hands on as much of it as possible especially if it was going at a good price and as i said this face mask now brush was um, what I really wanted from it the most so I can now use that with other face masks as well this next one I have to show you is from Lush and it is my most expensive product Eek this is the Bunny Moon Jelly Face Mask pinch some of the jelly face mask off you work it between dry hands and it forms a paste and that paste is your face mask what kind of drew me to this face mask was the what's the name um, I'm not gonna lie that is kind of why I bought it but it's meant to be really good for your skin and anything that is lush I think it's gonna be good I've never really been disappointed with anything from lush um, I mean it is a small pot but I have read reviews I've read reviews before buying it and um, people said it was really good and it lasts ages it's a 65 gram little pot and it costs £7.95 so um, it was quite pricey and it doesn't smell the best that's what it looks like so it's like a whitey creamy colour with like some gold flecks on it so I wonder if it'll be sparkly I don't know um, I thought I'd show you this because this is my more investment type product the plan is is to do one a week one which is this so do this once every other week and then change it up every other week so then do maybe a sheet mask or other little pod masks so that is the plan and we will hopefully stick with it as i said i personally love face masks and i want to like have a little bundle a little bundle or basket of face masks that i can use and go to and be like ah oh, today i fancy a sheet mask or ah oh, i fancy a pod mask or something like that i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you again very soon bye